Christian Naku, how to, <laughs> what, what options does Constanza have, you know, for finance? Where, 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 where can the money come from? Where can Constanza go for, for finance? Well, there are many sources, and I'm very glad that uh, um, we have been invited here, and I thank you, the Aspen Institute, for, for this. Um, World Bank Group is represented by, by two people, by myself, representing the IFC, the private arm, let's say, of, uh, of the World Bank, and Marcel, who represents IBRD, the other institution which is financing uh, the government and the uh, public, uh, public institutions. So um, uh, I, I want to, to say once more something which was said already here. Um, there are plenty of money. Uh, we have uh, money, banks have money, uh, there are a lot of European money which are available and not yet uh, absorbed. So uh, I think in Romania, um, probably one of the last things which is missing is our money. What we, we need is, is a better capacity to build projects, to um, uh, create, uh, to, to facilitate taking the money, um, to be better organized, to have a, a consistent strategy which, as uh, uh, Mrs. Manescu said, will last longer than just one short cycle of, of a parliamentary elections. So, something the mayor said earlier, the mayor said that cities and regions are better at absorbing mm. money than central government. Oh, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Um, uh, we recently uh, approved a new strategy of the World Bank Group. Uh, the board approved it in, in June. And for that, I traveled with Tatiana, the head of uh, IBRD office here, uh, across the country. Everywhere, everywhere, we, we noticed uh, very, very strong uh, local authorities. We noticed uh, very performant mayors who were able to have uh, great projects, absorbing a lot of financing from the European Union, making great things. But what was missing was exactly the connection with the, with the central authorities, which, by the way, in a totally inexplicable uh, way, they changed three times the government in the last one and a half year. Um, so that, that cannot help. I mean, I'm sorry to say it, but this, this is uh, something which, which cannot help. Uh, and uh, uh, you can see that in, in the, the, this exercise of the European Union, uh, of, the, of the funding. I think we absorbed, what, 10%, something like that. So it's, it's terrible. I mean, these opportunities will not be forever here. Um, we have to understand, we have to wake up, because things happened in Europe. Things happen in the world. Uh, this money will not stay forever and wait for us. So people might change their mind, might decide differently, uh, other priorities might occur, and we will remain without, without uh, infrastructure. The second, uh, the, one of the first reasons which everybody said from, from local authorities, uh, um, business community, public, everybody said lack of infrastructure. We have never seen such a, um, how should I say, such a, a unified opinion about what is missing in Romania, infrastructure. Infrastructure is, is influencing from uh, school abandon to business community, everybody. Everybody is influenced. If you want to fix something, the country should be focused on fixing the infrastructure. We, we have, uh, I, I had pre prepared a presentation, but I, obviously I'm not going to show it. But uh, we, as a, as a private arm, let's say, of the, of the World Bank, we, we have financed a lot of infrastructure projects. Um, last year, 2018, which ends in, in uh, June, we have put at work about $23 billion, uh, dollars, uh, out of which more than 40% are in infrastructure projects. But we are financing the private sector. We can also, so that's why I wanted to... 
Romania does now have a PPP law. Exactly. That's what I wanted to find out more, hopefully, <laughs> about what is going on with these projects. There were announced 21 projects. I don't know, I couldn't find out if this uh, will be done with some sort of uh, advice, because if this will be organized, 21 PPP projects will be organized by the commission of, of what, planification or whatever uh, was uh, designed. Yeah, well, it's just for, for the nice picture. <laughs> No, you don't have to. Um, it's okay. Yeah. So uh, if if this will will be organized by this commission without any support, I don't know if they will have capacity to do it. I don't know if there are allocated uh, any funds for for advice. We can help. Uh, we have done uh, over 300 projects uh, in w over 100 countries in PPP, uh, structuring PPP projects. Uh, so we, we announced, uh, Mr. Vice Prime Minister uh, Stefan, that we can do it. We are just ready to, to, to accept the challenges. We have not heard anything yet. Uh, that's why I hope this, uh, this discussion will trigger something, maybe in, at least for the port. Uh, we have done also investments in port. Uh, in a lot of investments in ports from uh, uh, Colombia to Brazil, from Myanmar to uh, you name it. All over the world we have financed uh, uh, terminals, we have financed all kinds of, of infrastructure for, pro for, for ports. But when it was a private involved. So there were concessions, there were privatizations, there were things like that. If not, we can find, we can, uh, we can help by offering the advice uh, in organizing such, uh, such processes. We have a, a specialized division on, on technical assistance, which can help uh, structuring uh, prioritization or, or PPPs. I'm, I'm uh, curious to find out more, and that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I want to learn more and to, to see how we can help.